What is the worst way to learn to code? I'm going to tell you right now, so stay tuned. Cheer. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back, and I done did it again. Back for vacation, okay? I was gone for the weekend. <laughs> Listen, let's get to it. What is the worst way to learn to code? And it's not just going to be one. There's multiple ways that's just horrible for you guys if you're trying to actually get somewhere in life okay it's very simple i'm gonna start with the first one which is doing things like a hobby okay when you learn to code you can't come in here and be like hey you know what i'm gonna do this once a week you know i'm gonna uh, dive into it a little bit and you know and be like eh, i'm gonna tippy toe it you know it's not like going into cold water right this is not like going into cold water you get what I'm saying? Like, this is like something that you got to dive deep and you just got to go in. That's it. Okay. And what do I mean by that? Right. You got to wrap your whole world around coding. Okay. And you got to say, man, you know what? I want to listen to a podcast about developers. Right. I want to listen to YouTubers about learning how to code. Right. I want to read blogs. Right. I want to actually be active out here go to meetups right so that's what you really want to do to learn how to code as soon as possible because if you do this as a hobby you're just not gonna get there right you're just not gonna get there and if you do get there you're gonna be one of those stories that we hear here uh all the time where you hear people come in and be like yeah you know i i was interested in in learning to code back in 2009 and, and it's like bro we're in 2019 <laughs> what do you mean that you just started you know what i mean like you you started in 2019 and in 2009 and you're like wait well, yeah, i i freaking i was interested you know when people say they were interested they were pretty much saying like yo we taking it as a hobby i don't even know if i want to take it serious and they wasted the time because the opportunities were there and then now 10 years later now they want to get into it okay that's wasting your time or when somebody comes in and says you know what i'm gonna try this you know maybe two nights a week and you know i'll hang out with my girlfriend most days i hang out with my boys and this isn't that bro you're just not gonna get there right because there's guys out here that do this constantly right you know they come home they code right they're on on, on the way to to work and they're looking at uh, applications on learning how to code they freak you know it's like I, I could give you a whole rundown of all the things that you can do to just like dive deep right but i just want you to know that that's how you actually get to become successful that's how you actually get to learn how to code quick like this thing can take you forever but if you dive deep you're able to bypass what everybody else got to go through within months you could actually get it done in a few weeks because now your brain is thinking like a developer and you're actually active okay now another thing is learning from any platform that does not teach you with projects okay if you're not building real projects like real things that you will be doing on the job right you're just it's no bueno it's no good and you know why because what happens is let, let's say for example there's websites out there that they'll give you like a little code example and they'll tell you oh this is how to do hello world this is how to multiply two numbers within a function like they'll show you those little things right and what happens is that when somebody tells you hey can you build a website hey can you build an application you don't know how to put it together okay what is the point of you spending hours and hours on websites like code academy you know and i'll throw free code camp even though people love and they swear by free code camp to me personally it's a waste of time that's just me honest right it's great if you already doing projects and you want to practice on the go like if i'm at home and i'm watching netflix i'll go to free code camp and go in there just to practice a couple of little algorithms or maybe just building little uh you know little components and little things like that but for me to say hey man this is the place where you're gonna learn everything nah right it's a great place to practice there's a big difference between practicing and actually you know learning right there's a huge difference okay and there's a lot of places like that there's a um, 
what's that ap application solo learn i think uh the solo learn uh free code camp co academy um even team treehouse they follow this model of let's give you a little small task and then we're going to give you a, a small little test for you to do it yourself and then from there you move on to the next thing and you continue moving on to the next thing but then once you finish all of that do you even really know how to build a website do you really know how to build an application like that's great for practicing you get what i'm saying but it's not good for actually you know building applications in the long term right because when somebody says hey can you do this for me you're like huh when somebody says, hey, man, could you set this up, you know, and do this with React, Node.js, you know, we're going to do the back end in MySQL, and you just be like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the hint, I'm waiting for the solution, you know what I mean? Like, nah, because you've never built an application before, and that happens all the time. Most of the people that they get stuck in that world, what happens is those are the people that end up at a boot camp. Right. They end up at a boot camp because they also feel like, man, I need somebody to guide me. I need somebody to hold my hand through this. Right. And that's I feel like I've noticed a pattern. Right. I've noticed a pattern of the people that usually go to boot camps. They start with free code camp, code academy. And then at the end, when they realize they can't build any projects, they end up going to, you know, a boot camp. And, and that's when the boot camps come in, just whoop, scoop. Got him for twenty thousand. Got him for fifty thousand. <laughs> I seen one in here in in Connecticut that is getting people for like eighty thousand. I'm like, bro, for that just go to college, get a computer science degree. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm spending anything above five thousand dollars, bro, you could keep it. I'm going to college. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's the truth. So. You know, that's why I, I tell you guys, learn by doing projects, right? There's a lot of good instructors on Udemy that teach you really good projects, okay? And I'm not talking about the guys that you see constantly on, on Udemy in the top 10, top 20. Those guys is pretty much reading the documentation to you guys. Like, let's be honest. Those guys are reading the documentation to you guys. They're not really teaching you anything. They're teaching you to do apps. Bro, that's not where you're going to learn. OK, what you want to learn is you got to do some research in Udemy itself. You go in there and start looking at the projects that people are actually going to be teaching you. And then from there, you choose the course. OK, you know, I'm telling you from experience, I've been using Udemy for years. OK, I've been using Udemy for years. Right. And I could tell you right now that almost 95 percent. Right. Ninety five percent of everybody that Udemy actually promotes and puts up there. What they do is bullshit to do apps and bullshit applications. They don't teach you anything. You don't learn like that. You need to dive deep and build real applications from the ground zero. Right. OK. So and by the way, I'll put this last, you know. You could check out codingphase.com, 20 bucks. That's what I do. Right. You don't have to learn from me, but you can come here and try it out right it's 20 bucks and you get access to all of my courses now i'm just putting it out there shameless plug you get what i'm saying but it is what it is right i have to do this because in reality there's barely any good places out here that have really good projects and like long-term projects like right now we building this e-commerce course right from the ground up like a real application something that you can give to a client something that is going to have users authentication is going to have uh pretty much a dashboard like everything right everything from the ground up from pretty much the products the file uploads web sockets like we're building everything right like this is a real application you get what i'm saying like this is not a to-do app okay this is something that we've been working on for months you get what i'm saying like this is not done in two weeks like i'm not reading the documentation i'm building things together right we find the mistakes we fix the mistakes we're doing it together that's how you actually learn okay um but yeah man there's a lot of good instructors too on udemy you just gotta look right i'm gonna come up with a new list of people like the hidden gems because what happens is like i told you guys everybody that udemy pushes out there is really bs i'll be honest with you and i've been noticing because now i'm going into the deeper levels of like udemy and looking for like the right instructors and i'm like wait these people that they're doing this is like they're reading the documentation you know that's not how you learn right you really learn by building projects like 
one of the main things that I always tell you guys is that you're going to learn on the job. Okay. And that's another thing too, that I wanted to point out. Okay. A lot of you guys think like, man, I'm waiting for that dream job, bro, homegirl, go to work, whatever freaking job hires you out there. And you know, and you think like, man, I'm, I'm too good. I'm waiting for that $80,000 check. I'm waiting for that hundred thousand dollar check. I'm waiting for that $200,000 check. It's not coming to you. Okay. Cause you don't have the experience. All right. Now you actually working even when you are intern, even when you are a junior developer, even if you're getting paid less than what you're supposed to, you're going to learn more even compared to every platform, even mines, right? You're going to learn more on the job than anybody else can teach you. And that's because every single job is going to give you tasks that you've never done before. Every business has its own logic. Every business has its own way of doing things, right? And you get to learn about tools. You get to learn about programming languages. You get to learn about different tricks, you know, different hacks that you can do that <laughs> you weren't going to get on any course, right? So even when I tell you guys, hey, you might not get in that first job is not that dream job. Take it. You know why? Because you're going to learn more there than anywhere else. And then the next job you go to, the back has been secure. All right, guys. So those are my top three things that I could say, man, they are the worst way of learning, right? If you are stuck doing code like a hobby and you're taking this like, hey, I'll do this whenever I can, you're not going nowhere. If you're only doing websites and small little programs to just practice, right? You're not going nowhere, okay? And number three, if you're at home and you're saying, man, I'm gonna wait for the dream job, you're not going nowhere, okay? Those are the three worst ways <laughs> to really learn how to code, okay? Those are the three worst ways that if you're on that path, I don't see no success for you. Okay. Now, like I said, guys, if you're looking to learn how to code and you're looking to learn um, how to build real web applications, like that's what I do out here on codingphase.com. Go visit codingphase.com. You know, you know what I mean? Like we got the dev starter kit, right? 20 bucks get you started over 40 courses. You know, I'll be honest, like that's a really good deal for 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks get you started. You get all of the courses. You get access to everything, unlimited access as long as you are a member. And I'll be honest with you guys. If I were you guys, I will sign up for the yearly because the yearly saves you two months. Most people have been here. I don't know how long on codingphase.com. We've been here for like two years, two years and a half almost. So, and people have been subscribed to the, the, the website paying monthly, right? What do I tell them? Hey man, do the yearly. A lot of people are switching over to the yearly. They save two months out of the year. And if there's a coupon, they could even save even more. Okay. So you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Codingphase.com.